guys, Rainy here, or whatever you like to call me, Dark Era, Lynn, I, I don't have a name yet that I can solidifyly call myself yet. But today, I'm here to talk about three AU universes I have for Persona 5. I have two more that has characters that aren't at all related to Persona 5. Those two will be getting their own video soon. I don't know when. But today, I'm going to be talking about each of the AUs, sort of, in at least two minutes. Um, maybe more, depending on which explanation gets... Eh. Anyway, I'm going to start off with the Royal AU, which is not an AU based... Well, it is based around Persona 5 Royal, but it's not in that time frame. It's when they're in the Renaissance era. All of the thieves have castles except for Morgana and Ryuji, because those two ended up being appointed knights. Sai and Makoto share a palace with each other, because they're sisters. All of the kingdoms are based around iconas or families. Joker, because I needed to give him a family, I gave him a mom and a dead dad. His, dead da his dad died trying to protect him from Yeldabaoth. Yelled about tried attacking Ryan when he was a baby. Or at least young. Akechi has his own kingdom as well. He Shido runs it. You can just guess how good that is. The story basically follows all the thieves meeting up at a party that Ren's kingdom hosts. It gets sabotaged. Ren, Mona, An, and Ryuji, they meet up. I don't know if I'll make it a catching meets up, or if at some point he gets taken. Um, but they meet up and they decide that Ren can sense that there's darkness all over the land. So they agree that they're gonna go to the different kingdoms and try and break the darkness. Ren's being saved for last because Ren needs to escape that place for his safety. There's a reason why, and later on it gets pretty exciting, and I did want to have a True Love's Kiss woman in there, so hint at that. Um, next AU I'm gonna talk about is the one that I've had the much- so much fun making, cause I just love the main- I love the Joker in this one. Um, this is my Kyrsen AU. It is my little ball of joy child story of where he gets turned from Joker into this adorable thing and tortured and escapes and is now kinda on the run and also lives in the cognitive world with his new family. Which one of them is a demon shadow god thing, which I won't get into later, because the story for Kyrsan is based around role plays. While the other side of the coin, um, the side with the phantom thieves, all of that is based or is going to be story written. Because this, I don't know if I want the story to follow Kyrsan himself, I do have story elements for him, or if it follows the phantom thieves of them trying to find Ren, they hear about stuff here and there and about how there's a lab looking for him. And how they are either going to help or and try and find a Kyrsen to either protect him or there could be the option of Yukari finding them first, manipulating them into helping them find Akira Sun in hopes of bringing Joker back. It's a really fun little thing I want to get into and try and figure out. The last AU I'm going to talk about is the second generation AU, which oh my god, I have so much fun making. Because it's the second generation of the Phantom Thieves. And the Phantom, it's just so much fun because I get to design children and personas that are just kind of fusions of the parents. A lot of the parents' personas, and I've designed, like, two of the characters. <laughs> so the most I can talk about is a Kane and Ryoko. They are cousins, adopted cousins, because their parents, which, all f which is Kasumi Futaba for Ryoko, and uh, Joker and Akechi for Kane, who is, yeah, you guys know Kane. They're cousins, because... Ren and Futaba are kind of adopted s siblings in the story, because headcanon thing. <laughs> um, but 
the, the Phantom Thieves end up disappearing. What Akane and Ryuku don't know is that their parents are Phantom Thieves. So their parents go missing as well. And everyone's just so confused. And so they awaken to personas and they are looking for their parents. While also looking for, looking for the Phantom Thieves and their parents. Not realizing that instead of having two pots on different burners, they have one pot on the same burner. Because both of them are the same people. Because the Phantom Thieves and their parents are the same people. Um, that's the most I have so far. I do know that there's going to be a twist in it that I really like. Because it's a selfless thing, but it ends up being bad. I don't want to say it. I don't know how to write stories good, and I don't want to do comics because, uh, Phantom Thieves, American AU already has that format. <laughs> oh, wow, I actually kept to the six minute limit. <laughs> Yay. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you did, um, I guess do whatever you want with the info I've given you. Uh, and just have a good day, and I hope to see you all later. Bye! I didn't completely reach the limit I'm supposed to record, but, uh, enjoy your day, everyone! <laughs>